Hello, 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 it's Brainy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I would like to welcome you if you are new here and welcome you back if you're returning. In today's video, I am going to be setting up my monthly for August. So if you're interested in seeing this plan with me, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. Thank you so much again for tuning in with me today. I want to first start off by apologizing if you hear noise in the background. Apparently, my neighbors are partying in the apartment, so just sorry in advance if you hear noise in the background. Now that that's out the way, as you can see, I'm still using my compact A5 vertical planer from Erin Condren. I did go ahead and switch out the cover. So it has a super cute Hello Kitty cover, which I got to not, not too long ago. I placed another Erin Condren order and I love it, but I wish I wouldn't have gotten it customized because the A and the J in my name, I mean, you can barely even see. Like, it's really hard to see on camera and it's even more difficult to me to see off camera. I think my ring light kind of makes it look a little brighter than it actually is. So I'm a little disappointed by this because I feel like the yellow, because it's so small, is entirely too light to be part of the cover but whatever. I also purchased this super cute case, which I love how this turned out. And yeah, so I don't, I mean, I think I you're, you can carry your planner around with it, obviously, but I plan on just kind of storing like my extra covers in it and then probably a pen and some, so it'll be more for me like a planner bag versus a bag that actually holds my planner in it. Because as you know, I'm using my Notique case currently, so I don't actually need that, this little, I think it's called neoprene bag. So, um, again, you know, we kind of already set this up for the month of July. And in case you missed my July setup, I did use stickers from Rachel May Sticker Co. Oh, what I did do though, that was not in the original setup is I added some extra things. So I added a pen test page just so I can try out different color pens and see how I like them. I added a reading log. And so I'll put books here after I finish reading them. I also added a bucket list, which I'm super excited about. These are stickers that I found in the Happy Planner books. And, and I don't even remember which one, but in one of my Happy Planner books, and I just thought it'd be super cute. And then I used this little tool from Christy Marie Designs to make the little square. So that's where these tiny little squares came from. So check out Christy, Christy Marie Designs because that little tool does come in handy. I purchased that one, especially because I used to use the pocket size planner, but it still works even for this size. So I do plan on doing as much of the th these things as I can throughout the year, starting with obviously fireworks will be tomorrow. So I'm super excited about, well, yes, tomorrow for me, because tomorrow for me will be July 3rd, which is when I am going to go watch the fireworks. This video will not air <laughs> um, anywhere near July 4th, because I'm doing this very early in advance. So it's tomorrow for me, but it'll be weeks past this actual day for you guys when you actually see this planner. And then, so that's it. And then I don't remember whose video I was watching, but they had the idea of using this page for shops and their codes. So I will be utilizing that for that. And all right, so here is the July month, uh, July, oh my goodness, the August monthly. And it is in this really pretty yellow, but of course this will mostly be covered up. So I plan on doing this page and then, who y'all, I'm gonna attempt to do something with this, this page. Y'all know this page is like my kryptonite right now, but I'm gonna I'm try, I'm gonna try. So for this spread, I am again, 
going to be using stickers from Rachel May Sticker Co. I purchased this sticker kit because I thought it was super cute. And although I am no longer a teacher, I still, I guess no longer a teacher in the traditional sense. <laughs> I still work in the field of education. So back to school is still like a major event in my life. So I purchased this kit and I really, really, really love the colors, especially the purples. It's really pretty. And then I purchased this, these boxes. I was thinking about using some of the checklists, which is why I pulled this out, but this will mostly be used in my first weekly spread. And then this is the other part of the monthly kit. So, Oh, and then I also pulled these stickers out of the Happy Planner book. There were just some leftover ones that I had. And so I will be using these probably to kind of decorate this page. So anyway, of course, first we want to start with our headers. So I am going to just slide. Oh, let me close it. Oh, man, I hope y'all cannot hear all this noise because they are really, really, really loud today. Mm. I feel like I can scoot this over just a little bit. One day I'm going to be so good at sticking these down that I will be able to just do it on the first try. And you guys will not have to watch me struggle with this. I also probably could have whited that out underneath, but such is life. So here we go again. This one is a little, oops. Ah, I didn't mean to put that down. That was an accident for real this time. I, I feel like this set is a little bit lighter. I think it's probably because this lighter like blue color than the last one because I don't remember having to white the date top but maybe I did and so for this particular one these little peaks of yellow aren't that bad because again it kind of matches the little background so it's not that bad all right and so then the sidebar here so for the last one I oh no, let's put it here I wrote down just like a list of the bills that I had, but didn't necessarily write down the exact dates on when they were due. So I don't really know if that was an effective use of this space. So for now, I'm just going to leave this space open and then kind of decide what I would like to do with it later. There is only, well, here's an empty box here. So I would put that there because who needs empty boxes? I'm pretty sure she's getting louder, so. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm just trying to stay on top of this because I'm like, once I get behind, even for just a half a second, then it's just, then I just quit. And then I have to start all over with trying to be on top of things. So the video is not going to be perfect. There's going to be noises. I do live in an apartment. That's just apartment living. <laughs> and I have to just learn to accept that as frustrating as it might be I just have to accept it so those are some holidays that I covered up because I don't know what they are so I don't obviously celebrate them and then I did make a list of some things that were going on so I know that there is a paper. Oh, shoot. I'm tripping. Let me put these numbers on. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just 
speed through this process and then I'll be back. All right, so now that we have all of the numbers on, I can go back to doing what I was doing. So I know that I have a payday on the 5th. So I'm just gonna stick this here. that I have payday on the 19th. All right, and then there are also some birthdays. Uh, where'd I put my pen? I had a pen. I grabbed a pen. Oops. I don't know where I put the pen. Ah, here it is. Okay. So I know that I have a birthday on a couple days. So I'm just, I'm not going to put birthday because I don't know what it is. So I think I'm just going to write. The names on here. So this is my sister Amanda, not to be confused with my best friend Amanda. And then it's my daddy's birthday this week. And then my cousin Steven that I call Beeve. <laughs> so his birthday is also in August. And there may be some more birthdays in August, but these are the only ones I can remember right at this moment. So my sister's is on the 16th. My daddy's is on the 23rd. And beef is on the 19th. And then I think I'm going to add some cupcakes. fill up that space up there. I mostly use these in my <laughs> daily. They're kind of sized more for that than in this monthly calendar because the monthly calendar is super small. I think for next year, maybe if I decide I'm still going to use this planner, the Erin Condren planner, then I am probably going to switch to the seven by nine just for this planner the weekly planner because it doesn't come outside so it can be bigger the a5 is perfect for on the go but if it's something that's just going to be sitting at home on my desk as like a reference point then it can definitely be bigger so this is what i have right now for the monthly i feel like this is a really good starting point again it is freakishly early in planning so i know that i will have a lot more to add as time goes on i typically get my nails done on tuesdays do i have my tuesdays in here although i would hate to mark them and then yeah i'm not going to do that because i would hate to mark them and then i don't actually do the appointments on that day or I change days and then I'll be sad. So we'll just leave this here for now. I love the way it looks. Again, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. It makes me super, super happy. So I'm going to go ahead and let's take a look at this page. So this page 
has always been probably the biggest struggle for me because I genuinely have no clue what I want to do with it. And I still feel exactly the same way. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to do my best. <laughs> we're going to try some things out for a couple months, see what I like, see what I don't like, and we're just going to go from there. And that's going to be that. So in this box here, I think what I would like to do is use these quotes. I found this in one of the Happy Planner books. You know, there are millions and millions and millions of Happy Planner books that there are millions of quotes. I never really use them just because for what? So, you know, they don't always fit in your spread. So now I can actually use them all and we'll just make this box like a quote or motivational message type deal there. And then in this box here, I would like to put my YouTube video ideas or like which videos I'm going to post. My goal is to have at least one video per week. So if there are two videos, then that is a bonus. <laughs> but I want to at least do one video per week. So I will put that here in this box. And I think instead of having the yellow, so that this all kind of ties in together. We'll put this little thin strip of washi here. I know I saw the ruler. Oh, super cute. So I will use that again. I'm just gonna go ahead and be proactive this time. There we go. I love that. All right. So I know I'm going to do YouTube videos in this one. Quote in this one. For this one, I think I'm going to do a social media tracker. And so I want to keep track of my YouTube growth my tick tock growth and my ig growth and then although it's not social media i would also like to keep track of my etsy sales <laughs> For the month so I know that's not social media so we're gonna ignore that part there and just know oh you know what maybe instead of doing that little line we're going to yeah that's that's ugly all right so instead of doing that little line I'll just put This sticker here because that's way cuter and then I'll just put business <laughs> tracker so Etsy sales and then let's do expenses just so I can kind of keep track of both of those. I do have a business planner, so I have like a more detailed layout of that, but this will just kind of give me brief snapshots for the month. And then I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do with this box at all. So in the meantime, <laughs> for this box, we are going to add another little washi strip because it's cute. And like 
literally no idea what to do with this box. So we're gonna add this little washi strip. We're going to add some deco because as Tabitha Brown says, that's my business. And pencils are so precious to me and I love that even though the colors are not exact it's pretty dang close to me so I feel like it works the colors are pretty close to me oh and I also still have no idea what I'm going to use this page for but I can also Add some deco here. Just so that it sticks with the theme. And then I think that will be the end of that. Can I put, let me see. Hmm. And put some little scissors in here. Hmm. Especially here, because I wouldn't be able to write in that spot anyway where the plastic is. And these scissors are so cute. Hmm. Here we go. I just, I really just want to use up this page. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> have these extra little stickers here that I'm like I don't really need to keep this entire sheet again so where can we put this all right so then left from this kit I have these boxes and then I only ended up using one of these so I will use these in my weekly which will be on the next video. So we have our monthly and we have our dashboard page and I absolutely love it. I think it's super cute. I would like to thank you all so, so, so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.